I know I haven't streamed in a, a good bit, but, uh, I don't know, I just didn't feel like it. <laughs> so, yeah, I, I'm not trying to be like a serious streamer. I'm just gonna stream when I feel like it. But yeah, Hu Tao is here. So, <gasps> oh, it's Chi Chi's birthday. Cute. But, yeah, we're gonna do Hu Tao's story quest. Yes, we are. So, first, let's. I'm gonna craft, like. Well, let's do one ley line so that it can, like, recharge. And then I'll do the story quest. I haven't gotten on today. But. Hu Tao is so cute. Like, I, I'm not gonna roll for her, but she's adorable. And. Um, I did her little test thing, and it was very fun. She is kind of like Shangling plus child, like the burst damage, but yeah, I don't know much more about her. Oh my goodness! Hello! Um, I haven't started the quest yet. I'm gonna, after I do this ley line. Because I want my resin to recharge. Let me just... Things will go faster if I just... Use my shell. Okay, there we go. I don't even need books, but um, I'll need them eventually. <laughs> so. Right now, my team is just consisting of the people that I'm trying to build friendship for. Um, so let me change back. So normally I have Xiao Official, Shangling, and Diana. <coughs> also, I have C6 Diana now. Um, yeah. I'm not really sure how that happened, but it did. But yeah, she's like low key replacing Chi Chi. Like, I love Chi Chi, but Diona's like elemental mastery boost is really nice. Okay. Now I will stop and we will go here. But I am saving my Primo Gems for Venti, because he's probably coming next. Um, so yeah, very excited. Like, I had the game when his banner was out, but I was pretty new. And I spent like all my Primo Gems on him, but I didn't know how to like, I guess farm for Primo gems. So Plus there's like no way you're gonna hit pity on your first banner. Like no way. I should have turned it to English, but um I always do this. Literally every story quest I always do this. So, 
she's so extra. <gasps> oh. Oh, I mean, you're probably right. Oh,你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你
According to the director, we shouldn't be expecting any more issues in the near future. Wangsheng Funeral Parlor, Wuwang Hill, Funeral... What more is there to say? These three belong in the same sentence. You two, on the other hand, have no business coming to Wuwang Hill. You being here is not normal. What? Sorry. Um, maybe your understanding of normal isn't quite normal. Yeah? Adventure? <laughs> you must hail from the Adventurers Guild. Then you are one of our distinguished clients. Would, to be precise. Would. Would? What do you mean? That's just how we gauge our client's importance. We have four levels. Wicker, bamboo, wood, and marble. The higher the grade, the better we'd like to get to know you. But I've just only heard of this. Well, that's because I only just thought of it. Oh, don't look so shocked. <laughs> what? Oh, take a look. Our adventurers spend the whole day scaling mountains, clearing domains, and smiting enemies. Danger and peril are their bread and butter. So we need you to be our client before you die. <laughs> Clients like these deserve better treatment. Taking an interest in their daily lives will ultimately benefit not only them, but also me. Oh, touched a nerve, did I? I'd have thought any adventurers who dare come here would be used to conversations like this. Anyway, I have a favor to ask. Recently, Wangsheng Funeral Parlor has been trying to strike a business deal with the Adventurers Guild. With you acting as an intermediary, it would be so much easier. Hmm, let me think what I could offer you as a reward. <gasps> or perhaps there's a favor I could do in return? Bring me Zhongli. I want to see him again. Ah, we're looking for someone. We've asked a lot of people, but nobody seems to have a clue where they are. This seems like something right up my alley. <gasps> I can even inquire with the ones who no longer speak for you. You see? Helping me will be worth your while. Come on then, my able assistants. Let's get down to Liyue Harbor and do some business. Uh, when did we become your assistants? Long Shun Funeral Parlor. The ones who no longer speak. Oh. Did she mean talking to the dead? Uh, yes, I think she did. Uh, she's a weird one. Paimon is so judgmental. Where's the quest? I'll just assume... ...that we're going to Wangshun Funeral Parlor. Maybe it's bruh. Ah, uh, okay. Let's do this then. <coughs> Is a little bit annoying. Just a little. Oh, I tried this spiral abyss yesterday. <clears throat> My throat keeps like getting all. Ugh. But I tried this spiral abyss yesterday because it reset and I got like. One floor in of chamber, um, I mean floor 11. Shit is so hard. Like, huh. I hate the monolith things, and then there's the monolith in floor, uh, two, I mean chamber two, and it's so bad. It's just... Blah 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 
I remember when I used to read commissions, but now they repeat. So I'm just kind of like, well... Now, when Inazuma comes out, I'm gonna be streaming every freaking day. For real. Okay. Why is he so dramatic? We can do. Oh, wait, no, we can't. <laughs> mm. Man, school, I be sleeping so much, and then. I just like miss it. like today in um fifth and sixth period we didn't, basically didn't have class so I just took a nap but then I set an alarm for seventh period but apparently it woke me up but then I fell back asleep so then I missed like 30 minutes of seventh period and I felt so bad but that teacher was really nice so it was okay but Ugh, you again. Uh, Look, I told you, we're not interested in the kind of cooperation you describe. Come on, there's no reason to get upset. Look, uh, that's one just of the members is I was an like, avid supporter of my proposition. Oh, since our last negotiation, I've come up with a new proposal, which I think you'll find has far more benefits for you. First things first. Longshun Funeral Parlor will prioritize the Adventurer's Guild requests above all others. You'll also receive 100 of our signature wooden coffins for free, together with your first order. Dang. That's not all. We also provide an on-site cadaver collection service covering almost all regions in Lia. Now, we do charge a slight premium for a very small number of especially dangerous areas, but, but don't you worry about that. I promise you, it's still... Very affordable. <laughs> I don't think you're hearing me. Okay, all right. I get it. You want to bargain a little more. But our offer as it stands is already quite a good deal, don't you think? Just think about it. An adventurer's life is full of unexpected threats. It's only natural to take precautions. Mend the roof before it rains, as they say. Yeah, no. I'm not so sure that saying applies in this context. Speaking of precautions... I'd rather focus on keeping my adventurers safe in the first place. Yeah? It's time for you to go. I have to attend to other matters. Okay, what? Oh, wait, hold on! Oh, what would you say to a group discount? 30% off for parties of 10? 
Director, please, you did your best. We don't need another clash with the Millilith. Uh, if Paimon understood all that correctly, it seems like she's trying to sell them the funeral parlor services. Honestly, I said I would land. Like, it's, I don't know. Like, who would want to be an adventurer if they're literally like, oh, we have a funeral opportunity signed up for you. Like, what? Uh, yeah, nothing left to do here. Let's go back to Wangsheng Funeral Parlor. Rejecting a once in a lifetime opportunity, it's their loss. Some things are inevitable, it's only a matter of time. It's like just very taboo to talk about death like that, so. Adventure, I sing you this money. Oh, What are you staring at? Oh my gosh, did you hear that? That's <laughs> so aggressive. Goodness. Uh, seems like the old ways are the most reliable after all. Mung, are you done preparing our promotional materials? Uh, my apologies. I'm only about halfway through. Do you really think they will be effective? Trust me, they're going to work wonders. This marketing strategy has been used by Wangsheng Funeral Parlor for generations. Clients in need come to our door and write down their commissions on blank wooden tiles. Then they squeeze those inside the parlor through the crack under the door. I fulfill the request written on each tile to make sure our clients are satisfied with the service, no matter if it's an obituary, cremation, or funeral that they seek. Although, it is a bit of a hassle with the constant back and forth. If only we could burn them by the batch. No, Director, I'm not asking about the wooden tiles themselves, but about the special offer they advertise. <laughs> Wangsheng Funeral Parlor should keep up with the times. Just think about it. If we don't attract new clients, we'll be left with nothing, won't we? I mean, like, there's always going to be new clients because people are dying, like, constantly, so... Business development is a crucial element of every prosperous enterprise. I've been trying various marketing strategies ever since I became the director. I put up posters just like all the other shops, but the Millilith promptly removed them. Then I organized the Wangsheng Visitor's Day, but no one showed up. Well, that doesn't come as a huge surprise. And finally, I discovered that the traditional ways are the most reliable after all. I took inspiration from the wisdom of previous directors. So now, I go from door to door looking for people and organizations willing to cooperate. Just like during our visit to the Adventurers Guild. That's what I mean by business development. The other method I'm trying is using the wooden tiles as coupons. Just by writing things like, buy one, get one free for the holder of this tile on them. But for the holder? <gasps> What do they buy and what do they get? A solid and durable second home, of course. Well, they may not need it right away, but they can be sure that when they do, it will still be as good as new. <clears throat> it won't start deteriorating before you finish doing so yourself. That's the Wangsheng Funeral Parlor Quality Guarantee. Oh, that, um... I don't know. I feel like she's a little too happy about the prospect of people dying. Um. All right, Mung. Keep adding those special offers to the wooden tiles. The future of our business depends on it. <sighs> I'm still not sure this will work. Oh, I get it. You think that our special offer is not comprehensive enough, right? It is true. I was offering all kinds of great benefits to the Adventurers Guild because they are a new client. But in doing so, I neglected my old clients. <sighs> You're right. It's unfair. Hmm. Let me do some market research. Wait here, my faithful assistants. I'll be back with you in a moment. 
shouldn't take too long. Paimon already told you we're not your assistants! <sighs> Guess we got dragged into somebody else's business again. Let's look around while she's away. Again, yeah. Literally, they're all like, oh, you're looking for your sister? Ugh, let me just do these errands for me. Thanks. You must be the director's new hires. Not us! We're just very curious about Wangsheng Funeral Parlor and Hu Tao. Well, I wouldn't get too curious if I were you. Too much knowledge isn't good for ordinary folk. The director is tactful when it comes to what should and shouldn't be known. Huh? Tactful? idea. That's the one thing she's done right. <laughs> That's settled then. Write it like this. Wangsheng Funeral Parlor Bumper Sale. Buy one, get one free. Buy two, get three free. More for your Mora. <laughs> I love it. Better than all that lifeless brochure stuff. We want people to feel warm and fuzzy. About death. Uh, but director, isn't lifeless the name of the game in this industry? hat. We're opening up new ground. Why does Wangsheng Funeral Parlor need to open up? <sighs> yes, Director. Poor guy's giving up. Right. We should get going. I am not letting new business escape us. We? <sighs> As in us? <laughs> Who else? Do you see anyone else around here? Oh, well, you probably wouldn't see them if there was. Stop! Thoughts like that it creeps people out. <laughs> Just a joke. Sorry. Everything you see is everything that's present, for the moment at least. Uh, lighten up. The way I see it, people make death scarier than it really is. I mean, it is kind of scary. What people truly fear about departing this world is suffering and regret. To deal with the trauma, they let their imaginations run wild with notions of ghosts and evil spirits. I mean, I feel like it's just like, it's not about like, suffering, it's about like, just not existing anymore. <laughs> oh, baseless fantasies. What we've ended up with is a topic that people are morbidly afraid of talking about. If I don't broach the subject, then Wangsheng Funeral Parlor won't be long for this world. Oh, more approachable and appeasable than you'd imagined? Well, Paima wouldn't say that. Just say at least it didn't hurt us. You must have come across a particularly ferocious entity. How should I put this? She was a little kid. Most spirits are incapable of harming ordinary folks. The job of Wangsheng Funeral Parlor is to guard the border between life and death. One component of this is correcting notions of death and the afterlife that people may hold. Simply put, for those unable to see the border, they're best kept as far away from it as possible. So, for ordinary folks, the best case scenario is ignorance of all matters concerning spirits in the afterlife, or even better, a belief that none of it exists. Then you really don't have any excuse for spooking the heck out of people. Look at that little kitty in the back. <laughs> you make it sound so abominable. I'm just trying to get them to see the humor in it all. I never thought you'd be such a bore. Never mind. If you stick by me, everything will become clear. All right, let's get going. Director, wait. What about Big G? Don't forget. Big G? Who's that? We've been in Lyra for ages and never heard that name. Yeah, it has been ages. Oh, nothing. Just something Mung's been pleading with me to take care of. Should be a piece of cake. Where are we going? To visit an important potential client. I'll lead the way. Try your luck betting on Jade. Oops. 
Sorry, who are you? Hello, I'm Hu Tao, director of the Wangsheng Funeral Parlor. Okay, so why would someone from Wangsheng Funeral Parlor be looking for me? Um, nothing major. How are you feeling these days? Any aches or pains? Girl... You shouldn't ignore them, by the way. Very often, they're an omen of something terminal. When we're healthy, it's easy to forget the crushing fragility of life. So, aches and pains, best to keep an eye on them. What are you getting at? I'm in great health and enjoying life very much, thank you. Go and find some other poor soul. Goodbye. <sighs> Why did they get angry? What's wrong with a few earnest health tips? Oh, you're saying they're gonna die. I think it's because they're coming from the director of a funeral parlor. What are you staring at? Oh my god. The nightlife here is so vibrant. Quick, I'm busy. Yeah, you're busy just standing there. Hello there. Would you be interested in understanding a bit about our services at the Wangsheng Funeral Parlor? Wangsheng Funeral Parlor? Uh, I'm not in need of your services. So you're out here looking for new customers? Don't you think this might be a bit of a crass way of going about it? Hardly. Isn't this the fashion these days? Bring the service to the customer and all that. I'm not sure it's every service that falls into that. Yeah. Uh, anyway, please bother someone else if you don't mind. Damn, that's kind of rude. Ugh, another failure. Still, not the end of the world. Paimon's curious. Does this approach ever work out for you? That's a good question. Actually, a great question. your face. The Wangsheng Funeral Parlor Director, right? I'm sorry, I'm really in no need of it. Don't apologize, get to know us. We've got a new sale going on. Ever hear the saying, out with the old, in with the new? Well, going out with a bang is the best way to start off in style on the other side. <laughs> if you keep talking like this, I'll have to call the Millilith. Girl. Meh, okay. These people are being really rude. Like, Hu Tao, obviously she's kind of, you know, missing the point that, like, death isn't something so fun, but she's trying to be nice. No, no, no. Okay, relax. We're leaving. But Wangsheng Funeral Parlor awaits your distinguished patronage. You really don't give up, do you? Hmm? Are you trying to make me feel better? Well, thank you. Seems you understand me far better than most people. Not really. This is just getting really uncomfortable. <laughs> Business development? Is that what you see this as? That's what you called it. Surely you don't think all that was business development. Then what was it exactly? Traumatization for its own sake? <laughs> no, no, no. The business development ended after the discussion with the Adventurers Guild. <laughs> Girl, what have we been doing? I was helping to find somebody for Mung. You remember Big G? As it turns out, the big G that Mung is looking for is a ghost adrift in the mortal realm. The three we saw just now were all people I suspected of being followed by big G. But having seen them, I didn't sense the presence of anything otherworldly. So we just had a quick chat, and I left it at that. Why didn't you say so? Hymum thought you had some kind of sixth sense for, uh, people in declining health. Huh? What would I need that kind of ability for? I'm no doctor. <laughs> Were you seriously hoping that the director of the Wangsheng Funeral Parlor was going to start healing people? Paimon was trying to subtly imply that... Uh, never mind. Paimon wouldn't know how to explain subtlety in a way you'd understand. Damn. Uh, 
Well, let's leave that for now and head back to Wang Sheng Funeral Parlor. This big G matter is very closely linked to Meng. She's, um, she's very unique. She sure is. She's trying her best. <laughs> Mung, I'm back. <sighs> I'm afraid we're still no closer to finding Big G. I see. Well, I'm just sorry for the trouble. We've already searched in all the likely places. Who is this Big G anyway? I guess I should start at the beginning. Can you tell us the whole life story? My home was in the vicinity of Wuong Hill. In my youth, I had a good many friends there. Big G was one of them. We were the best of friends. Inseparable, really. But oh. one day, there was an accident. And that was the end of him. Damn. I've never forgotten. Too many memories, I suppose. I often return to Wuong Hill. But recently, after one such visit, I started to feel strange. Now, every night, Big G appears in my dreams. I can't help but wonder, did I disturb him somehow? Both of these are really disrespectful. He just told us about his dead friend. Like, that doesn't really happen. Like, uh, okay, I'm just gonna go like this and then click. Perhaps. <laughs> I don't have proof, but I can't stop worrying. I get more anxious every day. How would I ever come to terms with my childhood friend becoming an evil spirit? Maybe he misses you. I don't know. <sighs> That's why he joined Wang Sheng Funeral Parlor. In place of a salary, I'm helping him deal with this matter. And in fact, what Meng has said is entirely plausible. Spirits on occasion do find a way into our world. But as for evil spirits, I think you're scaring yourself. Even I have only encountered malevolent forces a handful of times. But are you sure there's no danger? I couldn't bear for him to go around harming people. You see what I mean? Look at the state of him. If we can't find Big G, it'll eat away at Monk forever. He'll be fine. Those people we found today were also Monk's childhood friends. Oh. I thought there was a good chance Big G might have hidden among them. Okay, who but named him Big G? Empty-handed. Who did that? Who Wong Hill? Childhood friends? <sighs> Seems like we're out of leads. Ugh. Sorry, excuse me. Is this Wang Sheng Funeral Parlor? She's like a customer. My name's Luo Chung. I've had this awful feeling recently, like something's staring at me. Some of my friends and I went to Wuwang Hill the other day on a dare. After I returned home, I fell ill. I've been having recurring nightmares, but the doctors can't find anything wrong with me. I think that it's a curse, right? I've been cursed by a demon. Dang, he kinda cute though. Say no more. There's no doubt it's a demonic curse, all right. And <laughs> a serious one at that. Oh my god. You believe so too? That it's just like they say in the tales of old. The vengeful spirits of the gods who fell in the Archon War return to cast their evil curses upon mortals. Bro, you're gonna be okay. And if the curse isn't lifted, it will burn through the body, laying waste to flesh and bone. Oh, what a wretched end! The symptoms I'm having are just like those described in the tales! Wu Wong Hill? Hmm. No, I don't think it was a curse. It was probably just Big G. Hold your horses, both of you. There's no need to creep each other out. Isn't that exactly what you like to do, though? Okay, why is Paimon so passive-aggressive? Wangcheng Funeral Parlor specializes in demonic stuff like this, right? Help me! I beg you! I'm too young to die! Bro is really dramatic. All right, all right. Don't panic. Leave it to me. You've come to the right person. However, in order to lift the curse, 
We need a suitable location, and we need to make some preparations. Come with me, my trusty assistants. I'm going to need your help. I guess I'll come too. Help him make the preparations first. The incense exorcism, the one I taught you. When you're ready, come and find me. Once we've finished with this, we'll get back to the big G matter. Okay, I guess. Right. Let's go. Go to the exorcism site. <laughs> oh, God. Oh my gosh, what if Chong Yoon is there? He's an exorcist. Hmm. Should I just teleport? Yes, I'm going to teleport because I'm lazy. So, what mysterious rituals are you going to perform here? No ritual at all. We just need to kill some time. Eh? Wait, you didn't take all that vengeful God's curse stuff seriously, did you? <laughs> they were eradicated ages ago. You saw those two. One thinks he's been cursed, and the other one believes his friends turned into an evil spirit. It's hard to reason with them. <sighs> now you see why I believe that ordinary folks should be kept in the dark. I've seen too many people lose their senses on account of things like this. If you want to calm them down, you need to convince them with something tangible. And the best way to do that is to make a great show of destroying the boogeyman they believe in before their very eyes. Like that might work if you were trying to cheer up a three year old. <laughs> How old are you, Paimon? Why would you ask that? <laughs> Paimon just wants to know why we can't tell everyone the truth. Because you can't guarantee that telling an ignorant person the truth will improve the situation instead of exacerbating it. What I can do is pretend to pull back anyone who believes their time is nigh. But since the curse is imaginary, our fix will also be make believe. Well, his symptoms aren't imaginary. That makes sense. Why would anyone believe that it's a curse? Do you know the history of the Yaksha? Yes. They once fought against the ancient gods. They fought brilliantly in a battle that engulfed the whole world in darkness. Although the gods were defeated in the end, their resentment persevered. That resentment turned into a pestilence spreading amongst the ordinary folk. Hysteric people mistook it for the curse of the gods. The plague took the lives of many, which only furthered its spread, as the dead were a breeding ground for the disease. Then someone discovered how to prevent it from spreading, purify the air, and burn the bodies of the deceased. The pioneers of these practices were, you guessed it, the founders of the Wangsheng Funeral Parlor. Paimon didn't see that coming. Really? Yes. Anyway, it took many years. But eventually, the plague was completely eradicated. <sighs> Reminds me of coronavirus. <sighs> We've dealt with similar phenomena multiple times throughout the ages. Each time, we successfully restored the balance between life and death. To sum it up, we are gatekeepers, guarding the border for the sake of both the living and the dead. <laughs> so when I say this curse is just a figment of the imagination, I say it with more certainty than most. But I also can't really go telling people They're that like, the ancient this plates monolith. were real, or We're it would incite panic. We're gonna do something with this monolith soon. Make sure to get a good look at it. <sighs> anyway, let's wait a bit more and get ready for the show. This ley line monolith will make for a really great prop. <laughs> oh, you're finally here! We just finished our preparations. Now, look here. This device is used to drive away evil spirits. It'll absorb the curse inside you and cause it to take a physical form. Girl. 
But don't worry. The traveler here is a seasoned warrior and will assure our safety. Oh, right. I forgot to tell you. <laughs> It'll be fine. Will that really solve my problem? Trust the director. She might look like a weirdo, but she's serious about everything she does. Ugh, how can you call me a weirdo? I mean, wouldn't you say it's more charmingly naive or disarmingly different? <laughs> All right, let's get down to business. My glamorous assistant, please activate the device. All right. <sighs> Gonna have to kill some innocent hilly churls. Is it really possible to materialize the curse? Still alive? Nice and spicy. Did the curse leave your body? Uh, yes. I feel more invigorated <laughs> than ever before. I'm cured. Wow. Uh, I can't express how grateful I am for your and the Traveler's help. If it hadn't been for you, the curse would have taken my life. <laughs> uh, great. In which case, I guess now I can tell you. Da -da 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 -da. You've been pranked. Dang, you didn't have to tell uh, him. Uh, uh, what? This exorcism device? People like you wouldn't recognize it, but it's just an old ley line monolith, deceptively effective at attracting monsters. And those were real monsters, not a manifestation of your curse. <sighs> so riddle me this. If I didn't do anything to lift the curse, then what's the cause of your sudden recovery? The curse wasn't real? Then why was I sick? Well, you caught a cold, ate something bad, or just scared yourself sick. It's anyone's guess, but I'm leaning towards the last option. Wouldn't be the first time in my career. How unexpected. I also didn't expect that, but uh, still, I'd like to thank you. Uh, don't mention it. I found a way to deal with your fears this time, but I can't do it over and over again. So I'd appreciate it if you try not to give in to superstitions in the future. Human life is short. Enjoy it while it lasts. Wow. I... Uh, what a weird thing to say. The boat in the back. <laughs> um... I'm sorry, that's funny. Uh, I... I shall head back. I feel relieved to see that it wasn't Big G's doing. However, unless he crosses the border, there will be no end to his antics. Since we are done with the matter at hand, can we resume our search for Big G? I believe that won't be needed. He found us first. Big G? Uh, um, I didn't mean to bother you. Any of you. His voice. Sorry. <laughs> this is Big G? He's just a child? What, he died when they were little? How old do you think he was? Uh, well, he is a spirit. It's quite normal that he looks just like he did when he left this world. Um, that's not what Paimon imagined when Paimon first heard the name Big G. Well, they said he was a kid. Let's bring him back to Wangsheng Funeral Parlor. We have much to do. Just bring the ghost. <laughs> I better get some primo gems. Oh, my throat.
in the slightest. Remember what I said? There's only so many evil spirits in this world. When she does that with her eyes, she looks like evil. <laughs> it was a twist of fate that made him leave Wuwang Hill in the first place. Now, for some reason, he can't go back. This explanation sounds a bit far-fetched to Paimon. Well, Paimon, you're like four, Actually, so... Actually, she pretty much summed it up. Huh? <laughs> Don't ever question my professional instincts. Period. I just wanted to check up on my friends. That's why I came to Liyue Harbor. I promise I wasn't up to any mischief. I never wanted to scare anyone. A few days ago, some people came to Wuwang Hill on a dare. I heard them saying they'd come from Liyue Harbor, so I followed one of them back and ended up here. Ah, oh, it must have been poor Luo Cheng that he followed. Maybe he didn't notice you, but he could still feel your presence. Now we know what caused his nightmares. Uh, I was discovered? Well, I assume really? so, otherwise he wouldn't have been scared half to death. Yeah, Hu Tao and Meng were searching for you all over the place. Oh, that's because I couldn't find them. It's my first time in Liyue Harbor, and I got lost in the city. Now that you mention it, Big G always had a poor sense of direction. <laughs> when we were kids, he'd never go down the hill by himself. We always had to lead him. So, all of this was just because you got lost? Leave him alone, he's like two. Why didn't you just fly? Like any other gooster spirit. Don't you think it's much easier to find your way from up above? Okay, Paimon is being so rude in this quest. Like, shut up, Paimon. He tried his best, he's like four years old. I can't. It's too high for me. I get scared. That's right, yes! He used to be so afraid of heights that he wouldn't even so much as look down the hill. <laughs> you haven't changed a bit. Th that is I a terrible joke. I wasn't supposed to show myself to the living, and with so many people walking around Leo Harbor, my only choice was to hide. Yeah? I wouldn't have found you if it weren't for the Leyline Monolith's call. I'm so relieved that you haven't become an evil spirit. Like I said, don't ever doubt my professional instincts. <laughs> no, all we have to do is escort this lost child back to Wuang Hill. And we should be done and dust to dusted. But he just said he wanted to visit his friends. Apart from me, there's also little Wu, Mu Mu, and Songzi. Well, if that's the case, we can't let him down. We'll ask them all to help us prepare a farewell ceremony <laughs> for Big G. Computer just turned off. Ugh, fine, I will open the Twitch stream manager on my phone. Okay. There we go. Now it is on my phone. Mung and I will escort Big G back to Wuang Hill. You meet with those three and ask them for keepsakes to symbolize each one of them during the ritual, then come and find us. They're all friends. Can't we just go there all together? Or maybe we can take Big G to them. Um, that's not a good idea. I don't want to scare them. Hmm, I wouldn't want ordinary folks to become superstitious. The less they know, the better. So be careful what you say when you collect the keepsakes. Are we really going with Hu Tao's plan? At least by keeping things low key, we won't be giving anyone nightmares. Yeah. <laughs> He's gonna be like, ugh, again? What do you want, bro? Uh, hi! <laughs> do you remember us? Oh, you. 
Sorry, I won't be needing the funeral parlor services anytime soon. <sighs> yes, we grew up together. But we still keep in touch even now. I don't know why he started working for Wangsheng Funeral Parlor. To be honest, I find their director to be quite peculiar. But he must have had his reasons. He's on his own now, after all. And he still can't get over what happened to Big G. Did he tell you about it? Yeah, he did. Um, if you could pick one thing to give to Big G as a keepsake, what would you choose? Just, you know, theoretically speaking. We're just being hypothetical here. <laughs> Definitely not gonna actually go commemorate him or anything. <laughs> I... I'd cook something for him. Oh, he could eat spicy food like no other. His favorite meal was extra spicy Jue Yun chili chicken. I can make it for you if you bring me some Jue Yun chilies. I'm sure he'd appreciate the flavor of his childhood years. I still use that old recipe. Deal! Just give us a minute. I have like 400 of those. Jue Yun chilies are a common sight in Liu. I can rustle that dish up in no time if you help me find some. I thought I was exaggerating when I said 400, but apparently I was not exaggerating. Great, this should be enough. I'll get started on the Julia and Chili Chicken. I guess you've got other folks to track down? When everyone's ready, I'll get the dish over to you. Maybe he's a ghost too. <laughs> no. Man, I feel like it's kind of rude to just be like, hey, remember your dead friend? What would you give him? Like. <laughs> Wow, the quality is really good. <laughs> uh, not you again. I told you, I'm not interested in the oh, inner workings of Wang so Shan Fuel. So rude. Mom told us about you. You're good friends, right? Uh, that's true, yes. I come to think of it. I remember he did join Wang Sheng Funeral Parlor recently. Yes, we know. It didn't take long for his good friends to figure out why. <sighs> the Big G incident. But I know there's nothing we can say to help him get over it. Letting go of the past is a painful process. I would know. So, is Big G the reason you're here to see me? How did you know? We didn't even say anything. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm a businessman. I won't go spilling your secrets. Everyone hears the name Moo Moo and thinks I must be dim-witted. <laughs> I never heard the end of it when I set up shop. But I guess that I'd means say I proved a few people wrong. Yeah, Here, take this. It's a top-of-the-line toy box we all dreamed of owning as kids. Back then, none of us could afford it. We were penniless. Today, business is booming. I ended up buying loads of these. It was a dream come true. Wow, you must be like <laughs> super rich. Girl. <laughs> uh, for me, it's a memento of a childhood long gone. Without it, we wouldn't be where we are today. So, having found me, I guess you'll be looking for Little Wu and Songza next. Mm -hmm. We already saw Little Wu. Now we gotta find Songza. I see. If it's Songza you're after, let's meet at the overpass at Feiyun Slope. It's just above the staircase, leading down to the dock. I've got an errand to run. I'll come find you as soon as I'm done. Isn't she, like, right there? Oh, okay. I'm not gonna get up there. Mm. <laughs> no! Okay, parkour. Huh? You're all here! 
Reminiscing about old times, thinking back to past events. We've been at it for years. Our hometown was completely destroyed in a disaster. Oh. So we've got nowhere to go back to. Now, home is wherever friends are. Yeah, and they've just been telling me you're looking for keepsakes. I make artisan sail lanterns down by Liyue Harbor. I guess they represent me better than anything. A few days ago, I bought some quality plostrite shards. They're currently all in the warehouse at the dock. I've already spoken to the manager. Could I ask you to retrieve them for me? Seems like you already know what's going on. Be back in a jiffy. Uh, I had like 300 of those, but they all expired. We just go out of, all over the way today. Why can't she get them herself? You know, she's the one who bought them. <laughs> like, oh. That gate just appeared out of nowhere. Oh, I need to do bounties and requests. Hi, we're here to pick up the plostrite shards for Sansa. Dang, he kinda cute though. Uh, I think he mentioned it. Uh, yes, here you are in the register, no problem. The plostrite shards are over in that crate there. Please, help yourselves. Okay. Doesn't seem like they're here. Let's look someplace else. Oh, okay. Doesn't seem like they're here. What? Let's look someplace else. Where else? No. Oh. These look like what Sungzu was talking about. Let's head back. Crows wells up in fire. Hey there. Ew, Don't be girl, chill. All of the decorations. They were very pretty. Okay. I'm gonna climb up this pole. My thanks to both of you. This looks like great stuff. Please. Wait a moment. This is the final step. Okay, there we go. I wrote all five of our names inside the lantern. You know, during the annual lantern rite, we all release a lantern like this. Aww. No matter what the days may bring, whichever roads we choose to take, while this rite remains observed, each of us remains the same. As for the matter of Big G, the three of us have discussed amongst ourselves and agreed we won't press you on it. But if you get the chance, please let them know we're doing well and that the things we once spoke of, they've all come to pass. Thank you. We'll pass it on. Big G is lucky to have friends like you. Well, he's... We got everything we need. Okay. Let's go to Wulong Hill and find Hu Tao and the others. I hope I clicked the right teleport thing. I wasn't paying attention. I mean, if I would teleport to the ocean, I'm gonna be so annoyed. Dang it. <laughs> oh. Okay.
stretchy stretch. Oh, you're back already? Sooner than I expected. You didn't go spilling the beans, did you, Paimon? Does Paimon look that unreliable to you? Yes. <laughs> I'm kidding. Anyway, looks like they were willing to hand over some keepsakes. So I guess they knew the deal. Nevertheless, when it comes to things like ghosts and ghouls, spirits and souls, the one thing everyone knows is you never know what to expect. Which explains why they were reluctant to pry and find out the full story. <sighs> which is just as well, because if they had attempted to, it would have been too much for me to deal with. Guard the border between life and death. This is Wangsheng Funeral Parlor's most important responsibility. And I'm stricter than most. So what about us? Does it matter if we cross the border? <laughs> of course not. After all, you were caught up in all this already, just like Meng. It's not the end of the world if you catch a glimpse behind the curtain. And where we're going, don't be surprised at what you may see or what may occur. Where we're going? All of it exists within the border between the living and the dead. An ordinary place, really. The only special thing about it is that nobody really knows about it. Whatever you do, don't get all worked up over nothing, okay? Or else by the time we're out, I'll have to erase your memories. <laughs> you can do that? So listen to everything I say. Let's go. I'm unscared. But like Huta says, we're already caught up in this. We better see it through to the end. Um... Are you not concerned about how she said she could wipe our memories? Because that is a little bit, um... Concerning. What's our objective? But not like the Heller Underworld from the Tales of Old. This is just a place where the ley lines tend to go a little bit haywire. So keep your cool. Follow me. The farewell ceremony site is just up ahead. Okay. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna look at her stuff. Level nut, damn. Huh? Mm. <laughs> Toodaloo. <laughs> Dang! So you really gotta build... Oh my goodness. Silly churl, billy churl, silly billy hilly churl. Ooh. <laughs> oh my goodness. Hmm, interesting. So, bruh! You for real? How are you gonna get C3? Do not consume stamina. Oh my goodness. Okay, they really maxed her out, bro. Oh, I wonder if I can just... Go. No. Dang it. Okay. I could have just used Shangling, but whatever. That pattern looks familiar. From the right angle, you can make out the whole thing. Bro, how's she already like oh, almost dead? Like last time. Um. Am I supposed to be able to click on something? 
I'm so confused. Did that drain her HP? I think it did. Um. Wait, is that what the weapon does? Very smart. Um, here we go. What? Okay, <laughs> I'm so confused. It's <laughs> like what? Dang, I still have a boost. Yeah, it does. Wait, no, it doesn't. I don't know, I can't tell. Oh gosh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Come here, come here. Come here, little slimes. Come here. Come here. Okay. Cross over! Whenever you please, you need to have a little. How do people normally put it? Oh. Pomp and ceremony? Pyman's pretty sure that's not how people put it. so quick oh my gosh maybe i'm just bad at this game i don't know okay. nice and spicy <laughs> by the way i imagine adventurers guild members are good oh at making order of things See if you can find a way to get the right things into the right places. Usually it requires a bit of destruction as well as elemental reactions. On your marks. E you talking to us? What? That is totally right. For real. Look, that is correct. Why not? Chest. Oh, gosh. 
primo gems. Yeah. No. <laughs> oh. Nice and spicy. Oh my gosh. That is sadly really relatable. I took a nap today and I accidentally skipped most of seventh period, but it's my Japanese teacher and he's really nice, so he didn't mark me absent, but I felt bad because I came in as the lesson was like over and we started talking about other stuff. <laughs> I was like, oops. Yeah, I did. And I went to every single other class, so. <sighs> yeah. I'm streaming, just by the way. Well, I mean, you could like go to sleep, go to sleep. Oh yeah. You could take like an hour nap. You might feel more tired after though, I don't know. Yeah, I think you can be a bit hard on yourself sometimes. I think because you procrastinate and then you do it last minute, so you don't really have time to let your brain f like rest a bit and then come back to it. Like, Yeah. Well, I mean, as long as you get it done. Yeah. I mean, me, oh my god, that is so funny, yeah. Fire, fire, hands on fire! What? Oh yeah. You're toast! Chess. Fire, fire, hands on fire! Oh, <laughs> 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 really nice energy recharge. <laughs> Yeah, that 
This stuff is so cool. It's like glowing. That was like me. This place is super cool. Just by the way. God, the freaking boost is still there on the staff. I don't even know what it's doing, but that is crazy. But there's something here. Ghost, like, um, the frick's the same. Sprint. But there aren't oh my god, I freaking hate those. <sighs> so confusing. Let's have a look around. Or up ahead. My Diona does like no attack, but I hate those. Butterflies are so cute. Mm. Reminds me of Tomb Raider. Tomb Raider. Literally. Must be kind of scary, girl. This is a big place, man. <laughs> uh, did I miss something? Oh gosh. Oh. Huh? Isn't this where we just were before? That's a wrong. Think you can bully me?
Merry Christmas. What into that is going on? Have we even been moving forward this whole time? It's almost as if we're constantly being sent back to the beginning. Everything we said. Yeah, we're just going in a circle. I don't know what. have trapped us <laughs> don't be daft you've put my mind at rest seems it's not easy for ordinary folks to cross over so you set us up yeah if you don't have enough then why not just carry it through a few more times okay, let me just run past this freaking spider oh I can't I can't Stupid. <sighs> Imagine all four of us going this way. Stuck. The spirits have trapped us. <laughs> Don't be daft. You've put my mind at rest. Uh, Seems she it's not easy that. for ordinary folks missing? to cross over. So you set us up? Oh, yeah. If you don't have enough, then why not just carry it through a few more times? Carry it through a few more times. Up there and glide here. <laughs> I'm confused. I don't know. What if we like jump off? And like, what? Okay, well, I was gonna tr Oh my god. What the heck? 
what if you like put out all the fire? You know? Okay. I'm not gonna do that. Stuck! I... The spirits have trapped us! <laughs> Don't be daft! Okay. You've put <clears throat> my mind at rest. Maybe we go. Seems it's not easy for ordinary folks to cross over. I don't. So you set us up? <sighs> yeah. If you don't have enough, then why not just carry it through a few more times? I don't understand what that means. Carry it through a few more times. That doesn't help me. We're gonna Google this because I don't want to go on that freaking path again. to spawn a chest and it, to exit what okay wait swim across the stream until you reach an open area this will lead back to the previous room it's like you just looped around but this time a second orb will spawn make sure you got both orbs <gasps> oh uh. okay let me go jump off the cliff again Around. Okay, that was kind of smart. Okay, am I maybe a little stupid? Yes, but it is what it is. Okay. I'm. My dad. I'll be the only one. Oh yeah, they look help a little faster. The long legs. Oh god. <laughs> I fell off. Oh. Say that again. We're stuck! The spirits have trapped us! <laughs> Don't be daft! You've put my mind at rest. Oh. Seems it's not easy for ordinary folks to cross over. So you set us up? Yeah. If you don't have enough, then why not just carry it through a few more times? Just been like, hey, just keep it with you. 
we're stuck. The spirits have trapped us. <laughs> Don't be daft. You've put my mind at rest. Seems it's not easy for ordinary folks to cross over. So you... Oh my God. Finally! Paima thought we were going to be trapped in that weird place forever. That's exactly the point. Trespassers end up running scared. So that's the weird stuff out of the way, right? Yep. <laughs> Just dive off the edge here. Girl. What? Okay, I guess. Let's do it as her, though. Whee! Bro. Oh my god. That would hurt. I wonder if there's like a, any chests here. Can I get on these? Welcome to the farewell ceremony site. Our destination is just up ahead. Oh, I know pretty. you're excited, so feel free to have a look around and talk amongst yourselves. Soon you'll find out there's nothing special about this place. Ooh, can I jump in the clouds? Oh, there's a dead person. Hey. Oh, there's more. Are you clients? Apologies. This is just a little unexpected. Seeing that it was Hu Tao that brought you puts me at ease. But I'm afraid we don't have the means to entertain guests here. My name is Lan Si. I've been waiting for someone for a long time now. Exactly how long, I couldn't really say. Everyone says waiting is difficult. But walking, watching, talking to newcomers, and the old crowd, it helps to pass the time. I can keep waiting, but who knows whether what I'm waiting for will ever come to pass. It's all the same to me. Waiting's all I can do anyway. But if you too are looking for someone important to you, it's best not to keep waiting forever. Are you new here? <laughs> what a coincidence, so am I. I Aww. can't believe how nice the scenery is. I thought it'd be all pitch black and freezing cold with no sense of space or time. Here I can finally work out a lifetime of emotions. It's fantastic. <laughs> Perhaps I had just set my expectations too low. Phew. By the way, have you seen Uncle Jean recently? That guy, I remember him saying it was time for him to move on. Ugh, good for him. I wonder where he's off to next. If you're curious, why don't we go and see for ourselves? <laughs> uh, some other time, perhaps. I'd like to stay here for a while. The lantern right again. I got their old. Wouldn't it be cool if we got to see the lanterns ourselves one day? 
You can make a wish without a lantern, you know. My mom told me. As long as you yell at oh, Wario, it was a kid. your okay. wish will come true in the future. <laughs> I thought future. they were all dead children. Yell it? Isn't that kind of embarrassing? As soon as the first person yells, then everyone else just joins in. And nobody feels embarrassed anymore. <laughs> That's right. Little Wu, you start. All right. I... I wish I could open a massive restaurant with never-ending dishes and snacks so I could enjoy you and chili chicken every day! <laughs> that's your wish? If that's so funny, what's your wish? Oh, period. To get rich, of course. Do big business and make a load of Mora. With Mora, you can do whatever you want and be happy. Yeah, if you get rich, you can buy that super expensive toy box. <laughs> Not just one. One for everyone. No, loads for everyone. Well, if Momo's gonna be a businessman, then I don't need to earn any money. Oh. Whoa, whoa, whoa. It's tough getting rich. Don't put all the pressure on me. As for me, I want to learn to make Ming Xiao lanterns. The big kind. And Xiao lanterns, too. I'll be the best artisan around. Yeah. That way we don't need to go to Liyue Harbor to release Xiao lanterns. Uh, anyway, those are our wishes. Mom, Big G, what about you? Me? Huh? They all disappeared. Right when he was about to make his wish. It brings back so many memories. That was the last lantern ride the five of us spent together. Oh. It's been so long. Everyone's all grown up. Have all those wishes really come true? We asked each of them for parting gifts for you. Little Wu's become a chef. Momo's a successful businessman. And Songza makes great shell lanterns. Really? <laughs> Songza's compared to everyone else's is wow. a little underwhelming. We've never forgotten our childhood dreams. We've kept them in our hearts as a promise to each other. Anyway, time to release this lantern. Hey, take a hint. Let's give them some space to go over the good old days. Aww. Take the hint? Really? Of all of us, you're the one who needs to learn how to read the room! Really? The end result is the same, though. Exactly what I do and how I do it are just minor technicalities. As I explained, Wangsheng Funeral Parlor was, once upon a time, more akin to a doctor's office than an actual funeral parlor. During the Archon War, piles of corpses covered the wilderness. People were plunged into misery and suffering. Disease was spreading all over the land. Death devastated the world of the living. Such were the times when the Wangsheng Funeral Parlor was first established. As humans, its founders were deemed too insignificant to matter. But slowly, they managed to drive away death. They must have paid a huge price for that. After generations, Liyue Harbor became a bustling hub of prosperity, luring people with dreams of great fame and abundant mora. But in the end, some lunatics stirred up the legacy of the dead. By that, I mean the remnants of the defeated gods that ravaged the world. I won't go into specifics of that situation, but suffice to say that, at its peak, life was on the verge of bringing about its own extinction, while death was coming back with a vengeance. It took a long, long time, longer than you'd think, to restore balance and reinstate the border. Without it, Liyue Harbor as we know it wouldn't be here today, neither would the Wangsheng Funeral Parlor, you or me. <laughs> the previous directors all love to tell this one too. Although, if you ask me, I think I tell it best. Oh, what you make of my words is up to you. I do hope that most of it flew over your heads, though. The Wangsheng Funeral Parlor is just that a funeral parlor, nothing more to it. We live in peaceful times, but this harmonious coexistence between life and death should never be taken for granted. Huh? It's about time. Let's go. Let's take them to the place where all begins and all goes to rest. What kind of place is that? 
<laughs> I just mean where we first bumped into each other. I come up with fun names for things sometimes, okay? No need to hound me with questions about every little thing I say. Oh, <laughs> look at your little angry face. <laughs> just, just. Five Primo gems. Mm, why is it taking so long? Okay. <sighs> We did everything we could to make you happy, Big G, wouldn't you say? But if you ever really do become an evil spirit and come back with more nefarious nonsense in mind, I may have to forget our friendship and give you a far less fond farewell. I won't, I promise. <sighs> I'm grateful for everything you've done for me. Now that I know that my friends are doing so well, I have no intention to bother them. I also want to thank you. You made my dream come true, too. So you should also mind my warning, Monk. If you won't let go of the past, I might reunite you two sooner than you think. <laughs> How can you say such horrendous things with that smile on your face? For real. Oh my God. <laughs> well then, last but not least, let's say our goodbyes to Big G. See you later, Big G. Not like that. You won't be seeing him later. Let's stick to goodbye and such. <laughs> no worries. I'll just take my leave. I'm sorry. Of all the wishes we yelled that day, only ours hasn't come true. Nah, don't be bothered by that. No life is without its regrets. You can leave in peace now. All right, I'll remember you all. Uh, goodbye. Damn. He's gone then. I thought that closure would bring me relief, but all I can feel now is emptiness. So, what was the wish you two made? We didn't have a chance to hear it earlier. Well, after each of us has started a family and built a career, we want both our families to spend the lantern right together. That's why I envy my friends so much. Little Wu and the rest, they all had a chance to fulfill their wishes. Mine, however, will remain just a dream. I mean, his family is still alive. Right? Your family's still alive. That's right! Also, think about this. Everyone gets burned to ash one day. Girl, that's not helping. So enjoy your life while you can, and when your duty to the living is over, you can meet whoever you want again in the afterlife. Isn't that great? Uh... Thank you? Either way, I don't think I'll ever return to Wuwang Hill. I have a lot of feelings to process. No worries. It's a good opportunity for you to go on vacation. Consider your leave approved. Naturally, this doesn't change the terms of our previous agreement. The leave will be unpaid. Damn. She's like, oh, you're money for your friend. Well, sorry. Uh, aren't you forgetting about something? I took you to the border and let you have a look around, didn't I? But based on your reaction, it seems like you didn't find what you're looking for. Girl, she's not dead. Pity, indeed. Wow, that was so rude. So, oh yeah, I'll help you find your sister. Not. The biggest pity of all is your lack of help. <laughs> I was fishing around on your behalf through the channels that aren't accessible to you. Mm, okay. Unfortunately, I didn't find any leads worth pursuing either. Better. I'll keep my eyes open in case anything crops up. If so, I'll be sure to let you know. Well, you don't sound like 
like you mean it. For real. <laughs> I'm not an expert on tracking down the living. However, if you want me to summon someone from the other side of the border... Oh, stop saying creepy stuff! <laughs> Relax. I'll help you look for them. You have my word. Ugh, my exquisite sense of humor always goes unappreciated. <laughs> I have my reasons. Reasons? The spirits we saw near the border are the dead that still long for the world of the living. But I've never seen any of the previous directors there. Not even once. This means that becoming the director of Wangsheng Funeral Parlor was the right decision for them, and left them with no regrets. Hmm. She was... Mm, I don't know. Strange. Yeah. <laughs> I think for the most part I liked her, but I think she was a little inconsiderate about, like, death, I guess. Since I don't plan to ever come back here, I'd like to make the most of this opportunity and stay a bit longer. The director's right. Perhaps some time away will do me good. A new life awaits me. But I feel like this is kind of on TikTok a lot, but like all of the female characters are just like hardworking, you know, but I think it was fun. Um, it wasn't, it was about two hours. Um, yeah, it was pretty fun. I liked it. Pretty good, pretty nice. Um, puzzles weren't too challenging. Yeah. Let's see how many Primo gems we have. That is so sad. She's so cute. I want to wish so bad, but I can't. Okay. Um, I'm gonna do the rest of my commissions. And then resin, and then I'll go off stream. <sighs> I feel like the two week banners are kind of short. I feel like three weeks is a good, like, in the middle spot. I don't know. Because, like, two weeks you don't have enough time to save up, you know? Because for free to play players, you get about. 60 primo gems a day so that's like three days to get one wish so that's 30 days give or take for one temple <coughs> like i don't know i feel like primo gems are too they're not Abundant enough, I guess. Or like wishes are like too much. Primo gems. The threads like, of your fate lie in my hands. So like 100 primo gems would be good. I don't know. They'll never listen to me. Not even. Doesn't matter. <laughs> Dang. 
are both here. Why is that so difficult? Right. Nah. Did he die? Did he freaking drown? The other one is over here too, right? I haven't fought the Geo Cube in a bit. Just because I don't really have any Geo characters that I use. I use Ningguang like sometimes, but her build is really bad.
Well, I probably won't stream for a bit because there's not really any, like, <sighs> new content. So, yeah. Uh, okay. Sound of Sing Chan. Thank you, you are. Sound of. Yeah, if you didn't notice, I hit AR-55. Um, I hit it like yesterday? The day before? I think I hit it on Sunday, so... What's today? Monday? Tuesday? I think it's Tuesday. Yeah. But it's gonna take a long, long time. Like, long, long time. Yeah. But we're gonna do limes again. There's my dog barking. Oh, I have C5 Chongyun, so I've tried to build him a little bit. Um, I think he'll be useful on floor 11. That's part of this, but I don't know. Floor 11 would be really hard. one is Bro, if they're freaking ice enemies, I'm gonna be so annoyed. What did I say? Oh. 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 Oh.
Click that. Okay. Okay. Official and beta. Okay. Hmm. Wang Yu's on the Gu Hun. Show some show. Maybe I should see if I can craft Beto's thing. I think I got. I had to volunteer this Monday when I did the volun. I'm hungry. I didn't eat lunch. Okay, so I can make some ballads. So that's really not much. Uh, and then gold. Oh yeah, okay. Let's do this one then. I use that one the most. Her artifacts are a little bit sad. <laughs> Just a little, little bit sad. Hark! I think she got no extra crit damage. Poor thing. Sh I mean, Shadowing don't do much better. But she's for element mastery. Um, the little shell. His is pretty good. Yeah. Beto's is slaps. Wait, what is his crit damage? 36. Beto. 23. His is so sad. Look at that. Oof. His is even sadder. Look at that. That is. Mm. Hers is oh hers is not that bad. <laughs> Oof. Oof. Okay. That it doesn't matter. Um So Do I don't know. I mean I feel like that's that's good for a support. That is good for a support. Um, I could just do artifacts, because Diluc needs help. He really does. Look at his artifacts, they're so bad. Like, no crit rate, crit damage. One crit damage, but, like, barely crit rate, 2.7. 
That one is fine because it's pyro, but look at the sub stats are so bad. Like, it's like awful. They're literally terrible. And you're like, oh, what's this? Yeah, it sucks. Like, oh, oh, oh. They suck. All of them. And then all the good ones. Right here. Whatever. And Shang Ling, her armor suck too. Like. Yeah. I switched hers for Chong Yun. His is like. Okay. Like, that's not. They're all like, <laughs> okay. Um, okay. Let's do Pyro Domain twice. I hate this domain like so much. It's so annoying. pisses me off for real because you use ice and my ice characters suck so is there a five star ice other than Chi Chi I don't think so oh you know I should probably heal I don't want to. Okay. We're not using something official here. Okay, this is my little team. For this domain. Do it kind of sucky, yes. But that's okay. Okay. Oh, Oh. 
扩展，稍纵即逝。Struggled a little, but that's okay. <sighs> Great. Okay, last domain for the day. Oh. <laughs> no crit Sometimes the vaporize pulls off in the middle to like. Probably not. This domain sucks. And I hate it. Okay. Ugh. I hate this domain. I literally hate you. I literally hate you so much. Why? Why? Like, I don't really see, uh, you know, whatever, whatever. 
whatever. I really just got a cryo damage bonus. Okay. <sighs> this is so sad. <sighs> I hate that domain. Like, how do people get good artifacts from that domain? I don't know. Honestly. I don't. Okay. Well, let's see. I think Child needs to upgrade his goblet a little. Oh, well, it's 12. Okay, well, he needs as much help as he can get. with his goblet as well. This isn't too bad though. Okay, and then we're gonna do Chongyun. Um, that's not Chongyun. So he needs... His best artifact is probably this one, except the crit rate sucks so we'll do this one because it's six great okay honestly when he has a um which one this weapon this weapon he does okay because it helps his crit rate but i don't have another one so yeah I wonder if, like, the shop has a crit rate. Um. Or if it's crit damage. It's crit damage. I guess all of these have crit. Yeah. That sucks. Just a little bit. I have 23 wishes. Yay! Okay. Well, I'm gonna get off now. Uh, that's enough Genshin for me today. Um, probably see y'all in like a month. Or when uh, Venti's banner comes out, I'll probably stream again um, to roll for him. But yeah. See y'all later. Bye bye.